Hey guys, welcome to X2 Gaming. <clears throat> Today we're just going to run over. I've been up a while, so if I sound tired, forgive me. Uh, I'm going to do my career tomorrow, and I'll upload that tomorrow, so stay tuned for that if you guys want to see it. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, i got to stay up for two more hours, so I'm a little t I'm really tired. That's why I, I have to download some stuff, so, so I'm going to bed as soon as I download those thing so I'm really tired so let's just run through this really fast um, first we'll go to the divisions and I'll do a quick fight in a minute and show you guys um, what the graphics are like the graphics are not much improved over the last game though the graphics are still pretty good so I mean they're, they're really really good so it doesn't really matter anyway um, the gameplay um, the controllers have changed and everything um, Except for like the submissions, I think they made it a little easier. I'm not sure about that. I'll have to look more into it. But um, as far as controls go, there's a complete new. They've redone the whole control schemes for these for these games. So anyway, we'll get into that in a minute. So we're going to go through the divisions here. We got the women's division here, a new women's division that has never been in any of the other UFC games. It's called Strawweight. And I'm just going to run through the fighters really fast. Um, we got quite a few actually. So we got two women's divisions in this game now. When we, in the other game we only had one division, one women's division. And it did not have a lot of um, fighters in it. Um, so yeah, you get the point. You can look. It's got a, I'll do a more in-depth thing later. Uh, or tomorrow, I mean. So... Stay tuned for that, I guess. Tell me what you guys want to see. Anyway, then we got the Bantamweight Women's Division. It's added a lot more fighters. So I'm almost 90% sure that you can play as a female career, like a female fighter career. So that that's really cool. You can fight with your created female characters. So. Um, yeah, we got a bunch of them here. Uh, Misha Tate's my favorite, but um, we got a bunch of other ones that have returned from the last game like Sarah Kaufman, Sarah McMahon, Kat Zingano, and Liz, and a couple other ones, and obviously Rhonda, and then we got Holly Holm. She's not undefeated anymore, Misha Tate beat her, but, um, which I'm very happy about. Anyway, um, she's in the game. You can do the rematch between Rhonda and her, whatever you want to do. You got the flyweight, bantamweight, featherweight, lightweight, welterweight, middleweight, light heavyweight, and heavyweight. So, um, and each one of these divisions have like a really big roster for them. So that's really cool. Anyway, um, I'll, I'll go more in depth in a second on like, you know, I'll actually play a match in a minute, so. <clears throat> Probably not the full match, I'm just going to show you guys the controls and stuff. So we got Fight Now, obviously you guys know what that is. Live events, Pick and Play Now. You can customize your own event, so I guess this is for online. You can just choose an event and do it, or you can go to and create your own custom events, which I guess is like pay-per-views I'll do more videos on that tomorrow because I'm really tired and I don't want to do it today so we got the ultimate ultimate team I guess that means like online or I guess maybe even offline you know like those teams I have in the UFC where they where they have like um a bunch of rookies on a team of a very experienced fighter I guess something like that and you have knockout mode which is um um just stand up combat you know it's only stand up game you can't go to the ground or anything which is kinda cool I guess you got quick fight um well you guys know what that is fight with your friends, ranked play, my career which I'll do a full video on tomorrow or multiple um skill challenges which is basically your tutorials I've already done all of them so just click on them and you can choose what you're not good at and do a specific one. I've already completed all of them with um, a C or higher. No, a B or higher on medium, I think. And then you got the little intro here, which is just the intro to um, 
it's just getting introducing you to the you know like the controls of the game it's kind of like a little tutorial a very small tutorial then you got the big tutorial and the challenges so and then customization this is my favorite part but I think they could have done a lot better dang it see anyway you can create a female fighter or a male fighter and I'm pretty sure I'm 90% sure you can use a female character and um, and fight in my career with a female character that you create so it's not too in depth uh, I had some problems with the like the face and like a couple of the general info it's not in depth at least as far as the women side goes you know uh, it doesn't have a lot of hairstyles I only liked two or three out of the whole bunch and most of them suck eggs but you know whatever um, I wish they would have done more with that and the eyebrows are sometimes weird looking you can download your own game face on here so in the templates there's not very many good ones I think there's like only two or three that I actually liked sculpting well obviously you can just sculpt it which I'm not good at doing so that's why my character looks maybe a little off tell me what you guys think if she looks like a fighter or not I think she's pretty cool you know as far as I can go see from far away it looks like she doesn't have any eyebrows when you go in close she looks about normal actually so that's really weird anyway I like her she's pretty cool um, you can choose your fight gear you know the, you got different types of um, tops you got different types of bottoms you got a couple of different things I'm kinda sad that they took away Misha Tate's um, skirt thing that she had because I thought that was really cool you know and then you got obviously your mouth guards and then your accessories like your um, your little tape legs so you got style your walkout music and stuff like that your winning scene stuff like that you got skills perks attributes moves which you guys know all about that I'm sure all right now we're just gonna jump into a fight really fast and I'll, I'll talk about the controls and if it's and whether or not you should get this game um, if you're a UFC fan, definitely get it. I mean, it's a, it's a really good game. I mean, <clears throat> I like the controls better in the other game. Some of the controls, anyway. Not all of them. It doesn't matter. I'll just pick someone. I'll, I'll, I'll fight Rhonda, I guess. No, she'll take an hour to beat. So, we'll go with whoever this is <clears throat> you can choose from a different um, fight kit color I'm not sure exactly what that is but I always just go with universal let's see we got a number of different arenas or a couple new ones I mean you can find real time five rounds and difficulty they got all the way to pro pretty normal same as the other game the graphics of doesn't look any different from the last game they just changed the controls and added a ton more fighters and I'll be downloading Mike Tyson later so um, I'll show you a video on that let me uh, tell me what you guys want to see I'll be doing stuff on on other things like uh, my career I'll be doing a lot of videos on that probably I have a video right now that I I don't know if I'm going to upload or not, but if you guys want to see it, I submit, like, uh, this, I mean, it's nothing special, but I, I thought it was pretty cool how I, uh, got on her back and started, like, choking her out with Misha Tate. It was really cool. We're just going to skip to the fight. Elizabeth Phillips, Misha Tate. The controls are, um, I'd say some of it is better and some of it isn't. The knockout thing is definitely a little better. Oh, crap. I'm going to get the crap out of me. I like the ground game, though. The clinch is pretty cool. Um, you know, the stand-up is pretty much the same as the other UFC games. I mean, 
you know, it's it's more in depth, like, you know, like, the KOs are cooler and, like, more realistic and stuff, and the blood looks cool. The defense is really hard to get. So basically what you do here is you just choose what you want to do, and uh, you have a little thing where you can hold down R2 and press any direction to, like, um, let's see, can I sit in here? Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's just stand up. Anyway, you just choose what you want to do and like Nicely done reversal. I mean, I'm not good at the game yet. I mean, I'm pretty good. I mean, I've submitted like I've never lost with Misha and I play on normal every time because I'm still not used to the game yet as much as I want to be. But, um Anyway, but I pretty much know all the controls. It's just um I'm still learning like the timing and the fighting style of this game. It's a little different. The pace can is a lot different. The other game was more arcadic, you know. I mean, this one still is kind of ridiculous as far as I could punch someone a million times and they live. Anyway, I'm gonna try to submit her real fast. You've got to wonder about her vision. She's in a nice position now with the tie clinch. Tying up in the clinch here. She's got her back here. All right, here we go. Submission's just the same as the other game, so nothing new there. She may have to tap. This choke is getting tighter. And that's it right there. <laughs> I should be playing on maybe a higher difficulty now because I've been playing it a while. Anyway, that's UFC. Should you buy it? If you're a UFC fan, yeah, definitely buy it because, you know, like, well, you're going to buy it anyway if you're a UFC fan and you keep up with, the, you know, the fighting and stuff. But as far as casual players go, oh, gosh, I'd recommend renting it first, you know, if you casually play fighting fighting games and you're not, you're not real big on UFC, but you like fighting games, you know, stuff like that. I recommend renting it first. I mean, it is fun. They're, like... Man, I, <laughs> I beat her pretty fast, didn't I? I'll show you some knockouts later too, like tom well, tomorrow actually. But anyway, I think that's very cool. And finally, you can view the replays unlike the other game. So anyway, this is a very fun game. There's fun to be had here. I mean. It's up to you whether you want to spend $60 on this. But, you know, you haven't seen all of it yet. You haven't seen my career mode or any of the other modes. So, wait until, like, I show you some of that before you make your final decision. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm sorry if this video was a little weird because I am so tired. And to be honest, I don't even really know what I'm talking about right now. But I I'll see you guys later.